honestly, I felt really disgusted that anyone, you know, working in that kind of job would act that way. I was really shocked because I honestly didn't know what was going on, why I was being shouted at to get off the bus. An encounter between a legally blind woman and a BC transit driver has left her unsettled and looking for answers. When I went to get on to go to my jujitsu class, uh, it started beeping as if it was lowering and when I stepped on the bus, the driver started shouting at me, like literally shouting at me, get out, get out. And I was like, whoa, sorry. So I backed up and stepped out into the huge crowd of students that was standing there as he was shouting at me. And he says, I put my hand up. Didn't you realize something was going on? I said, no, like, I'm legally blind. Your hand up doesn't really mean that much to me. A student in a wheelchair needed to get on and the ramp was coming down. As I boarded the bus, the driver continued to shout at me three more times in front of everyone. You're blind and the beeps didn't tell you something was going on? I said, no, the bus beeps when it lowers and when it raises. Like... What's, you know, why are you giving me this attitude? She depends on the bus because she can't have a driver's license. One, the fact that you're working a public service job and you're literally screaming at me and the fact of him saying, you're blind and the beeps didn't tell you something. Like, that's incredibly disrespectful. BC Transit says they're aware of the incident and they are investigating. We do expect all of our drivers to conduct themselves with courtesy and respect at all times, and we're very sorry this occurred. We, we appreciate the passenger coming forward to communicate the encounter, and we work hard to create a safe and inclusive environment for all of our passengers. Overall, my experience with transit has been good. Uh, this has kind of put me off a little bit just because I'm like, wow, you know, what kind of people are you employing. In spite of the incident, she's continuing to take the bus and hopes that this doesn't happen again. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Kelowna.